writing a website that's gonna rank high in Google searches and be persuasive enough to convince your site visitors to do business with you isn't easy, but that's what you have to do if you wanna succeed online. So this video is gonna be a little different. It's actually the first in a five-part training series I created for SEMrush Academy. So this is just the first, and when you watch them all, you'll get the complete picture of how to create a website for customers and Google will love. Enjoy. Hi guys, I'm web strategy YouTuber Wes McDowell, and if you want to create a website that appeals not only to your prospects, but to Google and all the other search engines out there, you are in the right place. So when you're planning out a new website for your business that will actually help your business, I'm talking one that will actually fill your pipeline with customers now and pave your one way of future customers, you really need to be thinking about two distinct but equally important factors traffic and conversions. And in this exclusive five-part course, I'm gonna help you out with both. I'll help you get traffic in the form of search engine optimization. In other words, all the important things you need to include on your website to let Google know that you're the authority in your niche and that you should be showing up right here for anyone who's looking for a business like yours. I'll also help you boost those conversions by starting with really persuasive content that your prospects will need to see in a very specific order before they'll ever be sold on working with you or buying from you. Now, both of these elements, SEO and persuasive content, are equally important, but if you're not careful, they can actually be at odds with each other. So if you focus too much on persuading your site visitors to take the next step with you, you may just miss a lot of ranking opportunities, making your business really hard to find online. On the other hand, if you put all your focus on being found for your best keyword phrases, your website can suddenly come across as robotic and pretty cold. So you'll get the traffic, but what good is traffic if they're immediately put off and they never buy? So yeah, balancing these two competing elements can be tricky to say the least. That's why I created this course, to show you step by step how to handle these seemingly competing agendas so that they work together rather than against each other. So let's start out by talking about why SEO is so important and why you really can't afford to ignore it when you're creating your website. First of all, SEO is the most cost-effective way to reach new customers. As a matter of fact, it's pretty much free but fair warning here, you will need to put some serious time into it to see the real benefits. Next, it builds credibility. If you're able to show up in the top few spots in a Google search, it shines a really positive light on your business, helping your potential customers see you as the top choice in your industry. And finally, it connects you to the right person at the right time. While other forms of traffic, like paid ads, essentially interrupt people who are busy doing other things online, SEO is different because when people need something, they search for it, and that's the moment that your future customer discovers your business. You didn't interrupt them or force yourself on them, you answered them when they actually asked. And that is why SEO traffic is arguably the most powerful kind of traffic there is. An SEO is made up of two main parts, on-page and off-page. So what exactly does on-page SEO involve? Well, among other things, choosing keyword phrases that you want to rank for, creating written content on those overall topics, including those phrases in strategic places, and more recently, user signals such as time on page, bounce rates, and click-through rates. And SEO is also made up of what we call off-page optimization, which is mostly to do with getting backlinks from other websites to the pages on your website. But in this course, we're just gonna be concentrating on all those on-page factors, things you can actually control right on your own website. And I do wanna clear up a common misconception right now, since this is gonna be very important to keep in mind in the rest of the course, and that is, SEO operates on a page-by-page -page basis. So never think about SEO as ranking an entire website, but as ranking individual pages independently. However, 
When you're successful at getting some of your individual pages to rank, that can have a compound effect. When your pages start to rank, you start to build authority with your website, and that can help more and more of your pages rank as a result. So that's what SEO is all about. But what about the importance of persuasive content? Isn't it enough to just have a website that's easily found online? Absolutely not. Your future customers have lots of choices, your competition, and they know it. So it's your job to clearly communicate what you do and how you help, or you'll just be lost in the noise. And good, solid, persuasive content involves a strategy for which pages you actually need, and it's generally fewer than you think, specific sections on each page designed to give out the right information at the right time, in the right order, to help increase desire and decrease doubt in your business. Written content that emphasizes what your customer will get, not just a big brag board for your business. And proper formatting that leans into proven online and sales behaviors. Always remember this, people don't read websites. They skim them, they peruse and pick out little bits of information that they can easily see and understand. And that's why we want to make really good use of headlines, subheadlines, short paragraphs, bullet lists, bolded text to highlight important points, and of course, images and video. So now you know the separate benefits of SEO and persuasion, but here's where it gets a little tricky. How do we put both elements together into one cohesive website that fulfills both objectives? Now, there are really two ways that you could approach it. First, you could do all your keyword research, then start writing your content while shoehorning your phrases in as you go, checking all those little SEO boxes. But I'm gonna suggest a second option. I highly recommend starting out creating your page content as if SEO didn't exist at all. And the reason for that is simple. I want you to be able to freely form your thoughts and make an airtight case for your business without keywords splitting your focus. Because if you were to start the process with your keywords in mind already, a funny thing happens. You start concentrating and fixating on them, trying to work them in as many times as possible. And when your brain is busy concentrating on that over here, you won't be connecting with your customers over here and saying all the things that they need to hear to be convinced that your business is exactly what they need. So that's where we start with creating customer focused content first, then and only then will we research your keywords. And finally, I'll show you how to strategically layer them in in a way that feels natural for humans to read while still checking all of Google's boxes. So join me in the next lesson where I'm gonna show you how to create the content for your most important pages in a proven optimal way. And we're gonna go step by step, section by section. I'll see you there. Okay, so we're obviously just getting started here. So now I want you to click the link in the description below to get the rest of the series. It's 100% free. And believe me when I say it's a true game changer for your website and for your business. So click below and I'll see you there.